Hey there fellow underdogs, welcome to my fifth video here on the underdogs channel. I'll be uploading every Wednesday this series alongside other videos. In this series I'll be looking at different Pokemon and giving you sets which will work well in competitive battling. Today we'll be looking at my favourite 4th gen Pokemon, Mamoswine. So, to start off, let's look at Mamoswine's stats. With a base 113 attack and 110 in HP, it's pretty safe to say that you can use Mamoswine as a bulky attacker. However, with 18 speed and defense, you can always make Mamoswine a speedy attacker or a defensive attacker. Mamoswine's special stats are where it falls short, with 17 special attack and 60 in special defense. Now, Mamoswine is weak to 5 types by default, fighting, steel, water, grass and fire. However, if Mamoswine has its thick fat ability, then it loses its weakness to fire. Mamoswine has some great moves that it has in its arsenal. The first possible move is an egg move, which is Stealth Rock. This can be put to good use in a more defensive Mamoswine set than most of the other moves that we'll be looking at. The other egg move, which is worth highlighting, is Icicle Crash. With Mamoswine being a major physical hitter, this move is a great move to have on it. The rest of the moves that Mamoswine can make good use of are all acquired out of level up. The first move is needed to get Mamoswine, Ancient Power. Although Mamoswine will definitely not be able to make good use out of this move to the best of its ability, with the possibility to get stat rises all around, if you are lucky, this move may be beneficial. At level 25, Ice Fang becomes available, which means that as soon as you're able to get Mamoswine, which is a minimum level of 34, you'll be able to teach it this move. Ice Fang could be a good replacement for Icicle Crash if you don't want to have to breed an egg move. The other move that is acquired at level 24 via Swine Up is Ice Shard. This move is a priority ice type move, giving Mamoswine a move that is an ice type equivalent of quick attack with the same power, which can be extremely powerful, usually taking out most dragon types in one hit. And the final move that Mamoswine makes excellent use of is Earthquake. This move can be learned at level 46, but you can teach it via TM at any level if you so wish. All attacking moves specified so far gained from the stab boost from Mamoswine's unique typing of Ice Ground. However, if you want to teach it some more type covering moves, you can always teach it Rock Slide or Stone Edge for something to take out those pesky fire flying types such as Talonflame, Charizard, or any of the Mega Charizards. However, there's very little in the way of other moves that will be able to deal more damage than an Earthquake or Ice Fang or Icicle Crash. Now, there are three different types of items that seem to work really well with Mamoswine, and you can choose whichever one you want depending on what set you're running. The first item is usually best for a full on attacking swine. If you're running a speedy attack set, then it may be helpful to use a Focus Sash. The Sash will help you out if you're going against something that can outspeed you, such as Greninja, which will probably Oko you due to Mamoswine's subpar special defense. Then you'll be able to take it out with a nice and powerful Earthquake, and if the opponent is also Sashed, you'll be able to take it out with an Ice Shard. The next item can also be useful on an attacking Mamoswine. The Life Orb will up Mamoswine's attack power, giving you even more power to take out the enemy. However, you will lose health at the end of each successful attack, which could come to bite you in the butt later. The final item, which works well with almost every Mamoswine set, is a Lumberry. This means that you can recover from any status ailment once, and carry on with your slaughtering. Also, running a Lumberry Swine in a double battle can help you gain a massive attack power if you run a Prankster Swagger Pokemon alongside the Swine. And if you use Swagger on that Mamoswine, raising its attack by two stages, the Lumberry will cure the confusion, giving you a really powerful Pokemon. So Mamoswine has three abilities available. The two abilities that you're going to be able to get with ease are Snowcloak and Oblivious. Although both of these are nice, Thick Fat, Mamoswine's hidden ability, is probably the most useful. This will make Fire-type moves do neutral damage, and it will also half the damage of Ice-type moves. Now to finish off this episode, we'll take a look at potential teammates for Mamoswine. The first potential would be Tentacruel, because Tentacruel can learn Rapid Spin. If you don't lead out with Mamoswine and the enemy set up Stealth Rocks or Spikes or something like that, Tentacruel can get rid of them to preserve the Focus Sash if you have a Sashed Swine. Also, Tentacruel has the bulk which Mamoswine lacks. The next potential teammate would be Mega Charizard Y, or any other fire type for that matter. But I chose Mega Zard Y as it is one of Mamoswine's biggest weaknesses, so therefore it is a great asset to your team. Alongside this Megazard Y can take care of Skarmory, which can be a major threat to Mamoswine. The third team member could be Sceptile. 
seeing his mammoth swine struggles against both grass and water types, Sceptile, or any other grass type, could be extremely useful. A fourth team member I would suggest would be Dust Noir. Dust Noir is a nice and bulky support Pokemon, able to inflict many different stat ailments. As a final team member, I would suggest Ninjask, as you could set up with Ninjask and then swap out into Mamoswine, giving you a killing monster. And that's it for today guys, I do hope you enjoyed and are ready to see what next week brings. Next episode we'll be looking at Lantern, if you have suggestions for what I should go over the week after, then leave them in the comment section down below, and if you haven't subscribed already, press the subscribe button for more weekly content from myself and all the other amazing YouTubers on this channel. So until next week, I'm John, and I'm out. Yeah.